everyone, welcome back to Making Waves. Well, today I am going to go out looking for some bargains on some cruise essentials. So come along with me. So last week I did a bunch of research to find the two cheapest Caribbean cruises, seven nights uh, on each of the cruise lines. And I reviewed those in last week's video. I'll link that up here um, in a card in case you're interested in checking that out. And what I learned through that little experiment is that there really are some deals out there as long as you can be flexible on the cruise line and possibly the ports or calls you really can find some pretty good deals. There was one spectacular deal in that video. I don't know if that sale is still going on, but definitely worth checking out. I'll give you a hint, it was an MSC cruise. Uh, and by the way, we did book that one. Uh, hopefully we can book another one before then. So that video got me thinking that, you know, maybe there's some really good deals on some cruise essentials at some of the discount stores that are close to me. So I went out today in search of those deals and I visited four stores. I shopped at Dollar General, at Dollar Tree, at Marshalls, and at Costco. So let's see if I found some great bargains on some cruise essentials. I did have to do some voiceover for some of these because there was music uh, playing in the background. And I didn't want to get any copyright strikes. So I apologize for the places where I did have to do that. Um, but let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm at my first stop, Dollar General. Sorry for the sunglasses, but y'all, it is the first day we've seen sun here in the Midwest for almost two weeks, and my eyes just can't adjust, so I need sunglasses today, which is definitely not a complaint. All right, we're gonna head into Dollar General, see if we can find some good deals on some cruise essentials. First thing I found was this pack of emergency, which we always bring some on a cruise in case we get sick. Pretty good price there at $5 and change. Also, Bonine, pretty good price at $5 for that. At my regular grocery store, as you can see, it's usually around $8. Oh yeah, Dollar General was a little bit of a bust. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with Dollar General. This is probably the second one I've ever been in. Um, so I'm not sure what my expectations were, but I think I was hoping to find some things like maybe some mesh bags for packing things like first aid kits and medicines, or maybe even some packing cubes, but I didn't find anything like that. The only thing really that I think is worth mentioning is the medications. Um, those did seem to be uh, definitely very well priced, better than places like the grocery store. So I'll show you know a picture of a bonite and the price there. So if you are prone to seasickness, or even if you don't think you are, it's still worth bringing some seasickness medication with you just in case. So I did think that was a pretty good deal. And then just general toiletry items. I think Dollar General is a good option for that. All right, let's head to the next store. All right, next up is Marshall's. First thing I found here at Marshall's is this great travel makeup mirror. It's a really nice size, not too small, but definitely not too large. And it lights up, which I love. And it was a pretty good price at $16.99. It also had just a ton of cosmetics bags and cosmetics organizers. Thought this was a pretty one from Vince Canuto. And these were all priced really, really well, as you can see on the screen and just another whole section of makeup organizers. So if you need one, really nice place to stop and get them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I thought this was an interesting find. It's from Brookstone and it's a neck cooler. So if you're going on a cruise to the hot Caribbean and you get warm easily like my husband will, this might be a really nice thing to take along and it doesn't take up too much room in the suitcase. I have purchased many a suitcase at TJ Maxx and Marshalls in my years. Always some good deals to be found here and they had a really nice variety and lots of sets. I thought this was a really neat item. It's a backpack, but you can unzip it flat and pack clothing in it. 
I thought that was a really neat concept would be a great, you know, carry on bag for a man or a woman on a cruise. It was a little bit on the pricey side at 60 bucks, but I really thought it was a good concept. Well, this bag almost came home with me. It's a really kind of medium-ish size carry-on bag. It's quilted, it opens really wide, and, it, and it's quite deep. So you can fit quite a lot in there. And I love the quilted exterior. I think it would be easy to clean. It also had lots of uh, compartments on the outside for storage and organization. I really like this. I don't need it. That's the only reason I didn't end up buying it. I thought it was a good price at $40. As you can see, it's got backpack type straps on the back, so it would be really easy to carry as well. I found this packable backpack. These are nice to have if you know you're going to buy souvenirs on your trip and you're not sure you're going to have room in your suitcase for them. Although I thought it was a little pricey at $13. They had lots of travel size liquid bottles and containers, and these were all really well priced. They also had this little two pack set of little mesh bags that are a currency and passport organizer. I'm not sure that's something I would use, but I wanted to show it. I thought it was, again, very well priced. There's a great little set of three mesh bags. We use a mesh bag for like our first aid kit. We also use one to hold other items, such as our magnets that we use on the walls of our cabin. But they also have this set of four compression bags. So I thought that was interesting and pretty cheap at eight bucks. They also had several different sets of packing cubes, four-piece sets. I saw a couple of six-piece sets as well in different colors and patterns and all pretty reasonably priced. All right, so I am about to go someplace I've never gone before. And you'll probably see why when I get out of the car. Um, I feel like it's just a sea of humanity. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Costco. Now, we purchased a Costco membership you know, sometime in the last year, and we've never been inside Costco. Now, we have ordered some things um, for delivery, but every time we think we're gonna stop at Costco and we look at the parking lot and there's just hundreds of cars, and we just keep driving. Um, so, so I suspect we may not renew our Costco membership um, for another year, but I'm about to go in and see if I can find some cruise essentials, and I'm sure I'll be tempted by lots of other things as well. All right, let's go. All right, I'm in. This is huge, of course, so I don't even know where I'm gonna look for cruise stuff, but we'll find it together. Let's see, two piece luggage set, carry on, sorry, carry on size, and then larger check size, $159.99. It's not too bad. Samsonite hard sided, $199. All these waterproof rain jackets, which we always bring kind of a packable waterproof rain jacket um, that we, we purchased the men's and women's version on Amazon. This seems yeah, pretty lightweight. Price is $16.99. I have to look, I don't know if that's a bargain or not compared to the Amazon version, but I'll definitely check that and make a note. We have these belt bags that have been so popular, kicked off by the Lululemon craze. I actually do have a Lululemon version um, that I got for a pretty good deal. These are a really good deal, $14.99. Your choice of, looks like either black or like a khaki color. These are great if you're just going on an excursion and you just want to have your phone and you know, your, your, your cabin key, your sea pass key. Um, these are really great enough to carry a big bag and very comfortable. All right, last stop for the day, Dollar Tree. I've never been in Dollar Tree before, so excited to see what they have. 
first thing I found was this nightlight. It's very small and wouldn't take up much room. And you know, cruise cabins are pretty dark at night. So I thought that was definitely worth mentioning at $1.25. They have loads of sunglasses. And y'all, these sunglasses are $1.25. Now, I don't think they're going to last forever. But at that price, you can afford to buy several pairs. I found these antibacterial wipes that I thought that would be great to take on a cruise. We all know hygiene is so important and like everything else, $1.25. All right, lastly, I found some bandages. Again, we always take some bandages in our first aid kit just in case of blisters and that type of thing. And again, the price cannot be beat at $1.25. So the only thing I actually came home with out of those four stores that I visited was uh, from Marshalls, and it's these compression bags. It's a set of four compression bags. Now, it doesn't say that they're compression packing cubes, which is something I'm definitely very interested in using on our next cruise. I have just a regular set of packing cubes that we've used on prior cruises, but um, it says these are compression bags, so I thought I'm gonna buy them and let's just kind of do a little test with them. So let me open it up here. Let's see what we have. All right, so it looks like these are just kind of like compression storage bags. Now, could you still use these on a cruise? I think probably. So there's a large one, which is here. Looks like there's maybe three. I don't know. This one's probably the next size down. That looks to be maybe a similar size. And then this is the size of the smallest one. So I thought, well, let's let's test it out. All right, so I've got the smallest bag open, and I've got I think seven t-shirts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, I'm gonna see if I can fit these in here, and let's see how small we can make this. I'm going to keep them folded somewhat neatly while shoving them in the bag. All right, so I've got all seven shirts in here. I'm going to close this up. And then it says to roll it. Oh, I hear the air coming out of it. I feel like, oh, that's the bag, not me, folks. <laughs> I mean, they're in there. It is pretty compressed, but I don't know that I would use this for packing. I don't know that it's all that much smaller than just the stuff would be in a regular packing cube. You know, what I think these might be good for would be if you are, you know, storing winter clothes and you're taking those out of your drawers and you need to store them someplace else in order to fit, you know, your summer um, clothing. This might be a good storage solution for that, but I don't think I'll, I'll use it on a cruise. But again, not that expensive. These were $7.99, and I'll definitely find a use for them. So I know the lighting's different. When I was editing the video, I realized something happened with the um, video for this outro. So I'm having to re-record it, and it is later in the evening. All right, so a little bit about me before we wrap this up. So I am definitely an online shopper. It's rare for me to go to stores, to a mall. Um, really other than the grocery store. And even then, I typically order groceries and either pick them up or have them delivered. I work a lot of hours, and so I just don't have a lot of time or honestly the desire to be out uh, in stores that much anymore. So I was kind of looking forward to visiting these stores. I really had high expectations going into it. And while there definitely were some deals, right? So deals on toiletry items, uh, items for like your first aid kit, and certainly some packing related items, mostly at Marshall's. You know, what I really found is that I just prefer to shop online. You know, that was a three hour trip um, today for me, and I just don't have that desire to be out shopping for three hours. So for me, even though there are some savings, I still love my Amazon. Uh, now, I probably would consider going back to a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. I felt like that store had really the most items that one might need for a cruise. So I definitely recommend that. But really, for me, I think I'm probably just going to stick to Amazon. But I want to hear from you all. Do you have some you know, really great discount stores that you shop at for cruise essentials? Please share that with us. I'd love to know. As always, we so appreciate you taking time to watch, and until next time, happy cruising.